Hello. In this video, we will be showing you why America's top industries are trusting in Temporary Kitchen's 123 Expedited Architectural Design Services. Temporary Kitchen's 123 provides a complete set of architectural and working construction plans for both mobile and modular kitchen facilities nationwide. Temporary Kitchen's 123 works with a team of state licensed architects that are on standby for expedited services. Our licensed architects are familiar with dealing with special government oversight authorities like the DSA, OSHPD, USACE, and state-run insignia programs. Now the DSA stands for the Department of State Architects. OSHPD stands for the Office of Statewide Health Planning and Development, and USACE is the abbreviation of the United States Army Corps of Engineers. Now, all states have a, a modular building approval process that is followed by a state-labeled insignia being placed on the modular building or tent structure. Now, the DSA has the oversight of all construction in schools. OSHPD has oversight of construction in hospitals and skilled nursing homes. And USACE is the world's largest engineering design and construction management agency and state-run insignia programs govern over modular buildings and tent structures. Now the DSA, OSHPD, and USACE, they're typically more rigid because they are serving as a source of refuge in case of a catastrophic emergency. So their processes will be more time consuming, daunting, and indeed challenging. A typical building department submittal package for modular dining facilities contains roughly 50 detailed documents. A temporary kitchen health department submittal typically contains roughly 100 detailed documents. At Temporary Kitchens 123, we do the job that no other company wants to do and can do. We provide expedited permit services for both commercial modular buildings and temporary kitchens health permits. For the modular building of tent structures, number one, temporary kitchens one, two, three submits all copies of all detailed plans that begins with the site plan, plot plan, floor plan, parking plan, landscaping plan, and a handicapped accessibility package. Number two, a building package that includes, here we go, state insignias, stamped engineer building and structure drawings, floor layouts, cut sheets, and finishing schedules. Number three, electrical, plumbing, and mechanical plans. Number four, foundation drawings and calculations that meet the need of the structure and atmospheric loads. Temporary Kitchens 123 meets with the clients to discuss major factors to consider during the placement of modular buildings or tent-like structures, such as soils that are considered expansive. Now, expansive soils change volume as they absorb water. Highly active soils are prone to shifting as water content rises. And as we all know, shifting is not good for the foundation. Another factor to consider is froth depths. Now this is simply the known depth in the ground to which water in the soil is known to freeze. The maximum frost depth is known as the frost line. Now, this may need to be considered 
when factoring in the cost of a modular building or tent-like structure. Flood zones. Flood zones are located in low-lying sites near waterways or along the coast, and they are at a greater risk of flooding modular buildings. It may not even be practical for a temporary modular or tent structure to even be constructed below the base flood elevation level. Wind zones. Obviously, a foundation system must take into consideration its ability to hold the home down in strong wind conditions. Strong wind zones are located mostly in the southeast coast of the U.S. and earthquake zones mostly located on the west coast. Now, for the health department, here's what we do. Number one, we submitted copies of all detailed plans including the plot plan, site plan, sectional drawings, cut sheets, spec sheets, finishing schedules, electrical and plumbing plans. Number two, in addition, Temporary Kitchens 1, 2, 3 also submitted all plans necessary for the temporary dining tent that included a buffet line, beverage service, and seating for the guests. Number three, complete detailed document submittal of SOPs during renovation. Now, SOPs are the standard operating procedures during the renovation details of the SOP are as follows. How the food is going to be stored, how is it going to be transported, and how is it going to be served to the public. Temporary Kitchens 1, 2, 3 handled completion of all temporary kitchen construction documents during the renovation. Temporary Kitchens 123 specializes in obtaining permits, drawing and construction of modular buildings. Temporary Kitchens, HVAC, refrigeration and dining facilities during the construction phase of a renovation. So please call Temporary Kitchens 123. You can call us at 1-800-205-6106 today. And we look forward to hearing from you. And uh, hey, please do not forget to like this video below. And thank you.